Hello everyone. Sorry for the wow back there, I can't really control it. No, but today we're gonna be talking about Batman Forever. The comic. Now before all of you out there are like, really? Just Really this one that just just listen to me. I love the three movies that were very dark. But sometimes you have to ask yourself, even with... I keep saying this to people even though it's not 2016 anymore. What about Batman vs. Superman? Does that equal what Batman should be? And I did stop myself from seeing Justice League because of how I... How the first Superman, I mean, how the first Batman rubbed off on me. Because the first Batman, because Ben Affleck rub, rubbed me the wrong way, I refuse to see this one. Nor did I myself to see Justice League. But with all the iterations of Batman, including going all the way to the serials from where he first began to, like, now, do we really have to ask... Does Batman Forever as a film really suck? I mean, sure, you could say yes because it's the start of a very bad franchise which starred Batman and Robin, the one that everybody hated. But this one's... But Batman Forever was literally the, the beginning of hate, except nobody cared anything about it. Now, yes, is yes, you could say that because of how awkward and weird it is, it should technically fail. But it does not. Because, you see, all the Batman films before it kind of made this, like, connection to the point of when Batman Returns came out, the one with Catwoman and the Penguin, played by Danny DeVito anyway, the Penguin, People are saying, this is too dark. We need something lighter. But yeah, when Batman Forever came out, people were saying, we need more dark. No, I'm just doing this. Like, why, why, why? But, just hear me out. Please, just hear me out. All I want to say is, as a film, it's okay. Do I like it? No. In fact, I hate it. Because of some reasons. But, we did have something even earlier called Batman the 60, Batman 1966. And I thought, what does this have that this doesn't? They try to mix two different things. They try to mix light with funny and funny with dark. They try to mix dark with funny, and funny with dark. That doesn't work. The reason why the Adam West show worked is because you knew it was campy, it showed it was campy, even the surroundings were campy. But with these films, they were just trying. So as a trying film, I could say, it's not really a good, but it's, What I'm trying to say is you can't really put it on the scale. Anyways, this is going too long. So all I want to say is... Just think about it. I will put the comp... The comic version of this. And I'll try to find the movie version. Or if you just search it up on YouTube. Compare the comic version to the movie. And then think... Oh, Batman vs. Superman. Tell me. Do these films, these early films of Batman, really deserve hate? Or are they just part... Or are they just causes of the time? Now, I'd like to think that this could be better. But, think of this. We could have had Jim Carrey being the Mad Hatter instead of the Riddler. Just saying. Because that was my number one complaint. 
He wasn't trying to com be complex. He was just trying to be insane. That's the Mad Hatter's character. Which is why this movie failed early on. But they were thinking. I'm just saying. People may not know who the Mad Hatter is. But just look it up. And then you'll realize this film... For as campy as it is, is a lot smarter than it really is. I'm the Crick. I remember it, so you don't have to. Mm. Tomorrow we'll be doing whatever the fans want. You guys type into the comments of this video, tell me what we should review.